What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarter. Let's get right off into this, man. Homecoming 2 is over. The year of URL has been closed out. We'll talk about that later on in another blog. Um, I know y'all been waiting for me to get this breakdown because anytime Rex or Moog rap, y'all want to make sure y'all want to know what I'm going to say about it. Am I going to keep it real? I'm going to always keep it real. Because when it's all said and done, I knew y'all first before my relationship with them. And I remain to stay faithful to my supporters and my core following. You get what I'm saying? So, and not only that, I'm faithful to myself. I'm faithful to my God, okay? I don't choose no man over Jesus Christ. And the Bible is clear. All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. And I'm not trying to go to hell for nobody, especially for no battle rap. It's not going to happen. Sorry. So I ain't going to do nothing but keep it real. But it seems like a lot of people don't know how to keep it real. They don't even know how to keep it realistic. So yesterday, Chess and Rex didn't go down due to an altercation that took place. That some people saying it was Chess' fault. Some people saying it was Rex's fault. And you and, and what's crazy, you literally watch if you're watching it, you know exactly who fought it was. You know exactly who instigated that stuff. You know exactly who was doing it. That's what I don't be getting about people. I woke up and I was looking at people breaking down. I saw unbiased trying to blame Rex for the situation, man, and talking about how oh he was getting beat so. He did. No, 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 no. We're not going to play them games, man. No, we're not going to do that. You are so fake. It ain't even funny. You say your name is unbiased, but you biased to anything. That dude right there is terrible, man. You are a flaming retard. I'm just keeping it real, man. That dude is a flaming retard. I'm just keeping it 100, man. I already know you ain't psycho. You're not psychologically right in the head anyway. Anytime you raping women, and that, it'd be crazy when I be hearing that dude talk, man. Like anything come out of his mouth is just BF to me for the simple fact, bro, you are a 50 year old man facing life in prison because you raped four women that we know of, four that we know of. You groped and touched another three. And you be sitting here talking like you, you real. You be sitting up here popping things like you actually the one to be listened to. You sitting there acting like you the mayor of battle rap blog and you sitting up here acting like you law. Like, man, get up out of here, dog. Dude is a flaming sissy, man. I'm going to keep it 100. But let's go go even further, man. That dude so fake, it ain't even funny, man. Fake as hell. Chess started that. Everybody saw it. No, he started it. The same thing Briz Roth thing did to murder Mook at the uh, two on two when Mook and Calico five the popped off on him. That's the same thing Chess did in his battle with Rex. Rex sitting there in his corner. Chess cut off, go all the way into Rex corner behind all Rex and them people and put his face right here in Rex's face while Rex drying his face off with a towel. And he's sitting up there. No, no, you got to hit this. You're going to hit this. You're going to hit Like, bro, what are you doing? Why why, why would you so-called trying to show you tough, trying to act like you gangster, and come cut between me and my entourage, cut in the middle. So he in the middle like a sandwich between Rex and his entourage. Like, he built like that. Like, the dudes who behind him ain't like that when they already whooped y'all last time for that. So you're going to replay and do it again. Like, come on, what, what, what are we doing here, man? And then the man wiping his face with a towel, he all in his face, like literally like right here, while Rex trying to wipe his sweat off his face with his towel. He like, then you threatening the man all through your look. He ain't even begin to do his raps yet. You threatening the man talking about you going to get the wolves on him. I can turn my back these niggas. Are, and this ain't rap, though. You gotta keep in mind when Chess saying this, he's not rapping. He's talking this like it's facts. Even to the point Rock even trying to contain the dude. Like, bro, what you doing? Calm down, man. They focused. He going right back into it. Like all these threats. I'm, I'm telling you, we could take it to the back and I'll whoop you and we could do this. And I got niggas here. Try that stuff. Like, what, what, what are you talking about? 
Rex like, dude, stop playing with me, man. Stop talking to me like that. Stop playing with me. Y'all ain't going to do nothing. You taking it past rap. But I know why he did that. And I'm glad when Calico was actually uh, speaking on it while they were trying to get things together to see if the battle was either going to go on or what they just going to cancel it and move on to twerk and uh, move. I'm glad what Calico said. Calico saw it that same way too. Calico said, he suffer from social anxiety. It don't necessarily have to act out and choking. Sometimes it can act off in his behavior. It triggers him to the point. Okay, so here's the thing. Chess chokes and get very nervous and paranoid when he out in the forefront in front of large crowds. Look, Go look into every time he chokes. Mostly all his chokes happen in big rooms in front of large crowds when he's the focal center of attention. He used to be enclosed in. He do better in small rooms closed in. That's one of the receipts. And I be watching for that type of stuff because I already know what he suffered from. So when he was rapping and he went over to Rexnum's side and he cut in between Rexnum men, Rexnum men in front of Rex, he wanted to feel closed in like comfort but playing it off like no 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 you need to get all this you're gonna get this i need you to listen to this you're gonna get this like bro you was already just over there in front of me why do you have to be behind me in my ear disrespecting my squad and my people like they ain't nothing like these like like talking about what i, I need to get this and bro what are you doing Nah, man, he was out of pocket. He was being too extra. He was doing too much. He went past battle rap. And I don't see how people ain't calling it. Why y'all can't be honest about something real simple as that? Like, for real, why? Well, I, I don't get this. Like, why do y'all be hating on them dudes so bad like that? Like, it's bad enough y'all already giving them losses where it don't belong. It's bad enough y'all be sitting up there speaking against everything they ever laid down and ever did for battle rap like it's nothing when them dudes is actually the reason why battle rap is where it at right now where people actually in a place where they actually making all this money off of it they try to rule out everything these brothers do and for what and for what like that that be tripping me out how cats just can't be honest rex steady telling the man man go on rap even you know, he even going to get look chess even going against tay rock he trying to act like he tough when he can't even fight come on chess let's just keep it real bro you can't fight we already saw you on camera trying to fight it looked terrible looked horrible you don't, you ain't a guy who known for, for for beating the brakes off cats now you might can jump somebody but you out there on your own duking it out that's not you and remember he tried to say that to rex in the face off like you know about me. You know what I do. You heard Rex like, know what you do. Heard about you. Like, dude, I don't know nothing about you. What are you saying? I don't know nothing about you. What do you mean? I know what you do. I heard about what you do. Them be some of the worst dudes, man, when you got little young, little, little young dudes trying to prove themselves. Because they'll go to the extent to try to prove themselves. Do I believe he'll shoot somebody? Yeah, because he's trying to prove himself. But do I believe that he'll, he'll box and take care of bidding? Absolutely not. Because he can't fight. He can't fight. Come on, man. Ain't nobody stupid. You're not going to convince nobody you know how to fight. We just saw you fight. We just saw one dude fighting you and Tay Rock, and it took the security guards to hold him while he was finna knock y'all heads off. If them security guards wasn't there, both y'all was out of there. Come on. That one dude was taking on both y'all. We not going to play them games. He wasn't even a big dude. The security guards helped y'all. He was giving he he was giving y'all the business. For them security guards came in and, and 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 grabbed him because they don't know him and know y'all. Other than that, y'all was out of there, man. We're not gonna play them games. Can't fight, man. Stop trying to fight. Stop always trying to be tough because you got 15, 20 guys behind you. And see, if things like that, I don't like. Because being from the streets, I know it's dudes like that. They got a lot of people killed. They got a lot of people locked up behind bars. 
because he dealt with 15, 20 people. He wanted to sh- sh- prove to his guys and them he bout that life. So you want to kick off some stuff because you deep, only to then get somebody hurt. And you ain't even considering your own team that's with you. That's what that's what I don't like about dudes like that. That that be sent offs. Like you being straight up sent off. You sending your team off. You sending your people off. And you sitting up here wanting to try to prove something when you ain't proving nothing to nobody. You want to sit here and do these crimes that's going to lock you up for 10, 20 years, but you can't even fight behind the wall. Ain't no pistols behind the wall. You're going to be right in your place. You're going to be humble and you're going to shut up. Try to be a part of a gang, hoping you can get some protection. You 110 pounds. You ain't beating nobody, bro. Stop it. That was terrible. He was finna choke. That's why he did that. He was finna choke. And I'm hearing I'm by it like, oh, he was losing. I mean, Rex was losing. That's why, how, how I'm losing in the beginning of the round? I was scoring it, right? Let me show you the points I had. I was scoring it. Well, it won't show in the way. I was scoring it. I had Chess five points. That's as far as he got. Five points. I had Rex 20 points in the first. I had Chess five points. He didn't even begin to get into his stuff. He wasn't even in the middle of his stuff. He was at the very beginning of his stuff. That man was finna choke. Ain't nobody stupid. That's why he did that. Because he was trying to buy time to get back, but at the same time, call the diversion. Trying to call the diversion, trying to get, trying to get out of that anxiety thing happening to you. While at the same time, trying to remember where you at. And all of it was happening at once. So you figure if you start a diversion and do some extra stuff. You trigger somebody off. It'll give you time to gather yourself because you need to, because again, he need to be closed in. He need to be comforted. So he do that diversion or open and then, you know, all the people start closing in. Now it don't look like all eyes is on him. Now, <clears throat> I'm telling you what it was, man. He jacked that battle off. And then they trying to blame Rex for it instead of calling it like it is. I don't like that type of stuff. Y'all ain't telling the truth. Okay, y'all ain't telling the truth. Get up out of here. How does Rex fall? Then explain how Chess is in the middle of Rex and them guys. How you get? How you find yourself all the way over there with your guys to be all the way not only in front of Rex but behind Rex and his guys in Rex face like you disrespecting a like? Come on, bro. Stop it, man. We're not going to play these games. Like, hold on a second, man. Wait, where my damn gavel at? Here, take it. Take it. Bang the gavel on your damn self. Don't worry. I'll do it for you. No. No, 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 no. No. Man, get out of here with that trash, man. You always. Facts sitting up there trying to put on a front. He wants the battle rap community to look at him as being tough. You ain't tough, bro. Stop it, man. Stop trying to be tough. Just rap, okay? Stop taking on... Look, smack them. Stop booking that man for them big, them large stages, man. Y'all act like y'all don't know how this go. How how are we watching this and we understand it and y'all still don't get it yet? I don't be getting them how they be matching things. Like, they be matching people up who they know don't be good in certain places. You know dude ain't good in small rooms, but you keep booking them in small rooms. You know dude ain't good on main stages, but you keep booking them in main stages. You know dude don't do well against female, but you keep booking them with female. You know, like, like, come on, what is, what is, is you hosting battles or what? That stuff be terrible, man. Terrible. And everybody know it. I let it be known. Is he in the, is he in the, 
where chess and rex is gonna take place soon i found out it was in a large room oh we we had a bet on it i told my people he gonna mess up in the first round because because i know what he suffered from some people said second some people said third i said no first watch he mess up in the first that's exactly what he did that's exactly what he did because he got overwhelming to him and he was trying to get it together so he fighting within himself he fighting within his mind at the same time, he's trying to play it also. People don't notice it. Sitting up there selling all them wolf tickets, acting like you tough. Knowing if you was, was by yourself, you wouldn't been doing none of that stuff. Like, get up out of here. You can't prove to the battle rap community you know how to fight. When we got footage of you don't even know how to hold your guard upright. Don't even know how to be in a fighting stance. Don't even know how to throw a right punch. Like, come on, man, get up out of here. Stop trying to act like you gangster. Just rap. Just rap. Just sending people off. You're going to get a lot of people hurt behind your ignorance, behind your stupidity. Them drugs that mess that little dude up, man, they, they terrible. They need to be ashamed of themselves. Look at what y'all did to that little dude. His mind is messed up. That dude is not right in the head. He can't even do an interview. Y'all pay attention to his interviews. He could barely even hold a decent conversation. He'd be talking and then immediately go off into some other stuff. You'd be like, huh? Uh, where'd that come from? And he's so delusional to life. You'd be like, bro, when he be trying to make sense, it don't make sense at all. It's like in his head, everything is cryptic. You're like, bro, is you paying attention to what you're saying? He be saying stupid stuff. Talk about angels make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for people. Talk about how he had a conversation with armadillos. Talk about how he really believed he was born from cabbage patches. Like, dude, what is you talking about, man? Like, you, bro, get, leave them drugs alone. Them drugs that messed his mind up. Wearing pappas over his skinny jeans. Like, man, bro, this, this, this dude right here, man. They mess that little dude up. They were giving that little dude dope at the at the age of thirteen, man. I'm just keeping it real. He he'll tell you, yeah, I was out with the guys, and them drinking, smoking since I was 13, 12. Right, and it messed your mind up, just like DMX said what his big homie did to him. Put dope inside that man weed, had him smoke a blunt and had cocaine in it. They messed that dude mind up, man. Got him popping them pills at the age of 12, that eating his brain up. Like, boy, get out of here. Every time you see him walk around, he got that little crippled chest poked out. Like, boy, sit down for somebody let the air out your ass, man. Like, you sound crazy. You be doing stupid stuff, man. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that at all. And then to hear people trying to cover it and ain't telling it right, tell the truth. Tell the truth. Stop it. We're not going to play them games, man. It is what it is, though, man. Tell the truth, though, man. Stop lying so much.